Zim FR Off-Road Rider back with another video. I'm uh, doing a cruise around uh, the, the town I live in which is population of 12,516 people as of 2020. I'm right down the street from the Redwood Empire Golf and Country Club. This town's pretty small but it has a private golf course. You have to be a member to play on it or a guest of a member but you can only play like twice a month as a guest but it's a nice golf course it has championship uh, supposedly championship golf course 18 hole but I used to be a member but it was pretty pricey if you're the only one playing and you're married or have kids you have to pay the family rate but anyway I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers for for uh, watching my videos and give me thumbs ups all the positive comments much appreciated I'm up to 576 subscribers and uh, this will be my 193rd video for YouTube and uh, I posted a video yesterday of uh, like a kind of like a slideshow of different pictures that I took on some of the rides I've done and I put them all together and I I just put music with it I know a lot of people don't like the music back in the background or whatever but it is what it is and uh, it made it you know like not as dull or whatever I don't know but it just it, without music it just kind of I don't know just didn't like it that much without something with some sounds you know so anyway uh so i went in and posted it's just a short it's like 50 seconds long or something but i just trying to mix it up a little bit let's go check out this is uh mill creek road here And also I had a, a subscriber, a viewer ask about some of my links for the mods I've done on this bike, which I have 1,351 miles on so far. And uh, anyway, I think it was, it might have been under the community photo I took or whatever. Uh, but anyway, I posted all the links I could think of or I could find and remember. But uh, there's quite a few. They're all bunched together. But you can go in there and, and, uh, and you know, separate them out or whatever. That's end of Mill Creek. But anyway, if anybody was interested in some of the links of the stuff that I purchased or... But some of them have like changed, uh, like they have different brands now, but the same type like crash bars and stuff like that. Uh, and the prices may have changed since, since I got the, you know, got the mods on this bike. But uh, I think I got just about every one I've put on my bike. But anyway, if you want to check that out, it's I think it's under community, I think, but it's a real long paragraph in the dis in uh I didn't put it in the description, I put it I answered the guy's comment in the comment section. So if you want to check that out. Anyway, this is Mill Creek Street or Drive or Mill Street, I think it is. But I was a member of the golf course, but uh, like I said, I I gave up my membership because I was like the only one playing, and it was like pretty pricey per month, and I really couldn't afford it, so. Now, now you have to get on a waiting list to, be, to become a member and pay a, a initiation fee or something. But every once in a while, they 
uh, get short of members or whatever people retire from playing or whatever but it's really hard to get to become a member unless they're having a membership drive and when they have the membership drive they drop the initiation fee which saves you about 700 to a thousand bucks got my uh, climb gloves on today because it's like 60 degrees pretty nice day so and I'm just riding around town so yeah, they're, these are more summer gloves, pretty much, pretty much all summer warm weather gloves. But they were, I think I got them on, I uh, think it, it was either Amazon or Rocky Mountain, they were having a sale on them. I think it might have been Rocky Mountain, but. But they're really nice gloves. I got like two pair. Climb's supposed to be one of the premier brands of everything I mean it's top-notch I mean some of the climb stuff is real real expensive I don't know how people afford like the helmets and the jackets and the pants are just outrageous price but I guess they're good quality but I'll stick with my Amazon uh, off-brand of pants and jacket Could probably buy 10 jackets or the price of one jacket from Klein, but that's teach his own. So now I'm on Ronaville Road. It's kind of a road that goes around the outskirts of the town and it ends up coming out on Main Street. It's really strange they uh this town only allows so many uh, fr uh fast food chains in this town like we have a mcdonald's and a burger king as far as as far as fast foods go oh, i missed my turn uh i'll just go this way uh as far as fast foods go that's like the only one i mean we do have like uh west side pizza which is kind of a chain uh store or restaurant or pizza place but i mean as far as that goes they only allow a certain amount in this town which i don't understand really but but that's the way it is so if you want fast food you got basically a choice of burger king or mcdonald's what is this I doing turning but yeah I'm gonna go up there and you can get a pretty good view of the Fortuna Valley and uh, and uh, the city of Fortuna the layout Looks like the wind's picking up a little bit. May not be as nice a day as they said it was going to be. Well, they did say it was going to be partly cloudy, so. Looks like the fog's sitting out over the ocean there, out over the bay. Yeah, I had a subscriber saying how he was glad to see another uh, CSC TT250 video. And I, and I have to apologize. I try to do one like every five or six uh, videos I do. This is uh, Strawberry, St Strawberry Hill Road or something like that. But uh, it goes up the top of this flat up here where they build a lot of new houses. But uh, anyway, I I had a flat tire on the the front tire on the TT250, so I was kind of procrastinating on waiting to do that tire until I just changed out these for the Tusk D Sports, and uh, so that's why I really didn't post one like. It's been a while since I posted one, so that's that's the reason there. But well, they got it fenced off now. But 
Maybe I could walk out there or something, but get a view of it. Maybe. But this is the whoop, the uh, Eel River Valley, and then uh, this is uh, a look of Fortuna. They this hill started sliding off, so they had to redo it because some of these people lost some of their landscape or some of their real estate when they bought the house. But yeah, if you can see Fortuna there and up there on that flat is the airport community airport but yeah that's what f overall view of Fortuna looks like it's kind of spread out I guess I had to actually I had to look up uh, I had to look up the uh, what the population of Fortuna was because I had no idea like I was guessing around I don't know 8,000 or something like that or 8,800 or something but that was <laughs> must have been a long time ago see they're building all new houses all over all along here these are all new but definitely gone up in population since I knew what the population was I had to drive a different truck last week. Uh, the transmission went out on my on my big rig. Uh, they had to get a new transmission. It kept popping out of popping out of gear. Fourth and ninth gear wouldn't stay in, so they had to order a new order a new transmission. I do try to I do try to answer all the comments or at least part the comment give it a thumbs up if I don't sometimes I mean a response really isn't necessary I guess but I at least acknowledge that uh, I saw the 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 post or the comment That's the thing. That's a that's a hard thing about the bigger channel on YouTube is like once they get so big, you almost need an assistant to answer all the comments. You know, when you get over, you know, over a hundred, two hundred, three hundred plus comments, it's hard to you know answer every one of them or hard every one of them. So that's the only good thing about having a small channel is I'm able to get notifications when I get when I receive a comment and uh, and I'm able to answer it. I take you up through uh, Rancho Rancho Buena Vista. This is kind of like uh, the upper class, uh, you know, nicer, more expensive houses up on up on this hill here I mean you could probably get a house for up here on some of them maybe under maybe under 600 I don't know maybe not I don't really know but uh, they don't sell a lot of them seems like but there's a lot of really nice houses up here
It's kind of reminds me of like a gated community, but not gated kind of thing. <laughs> Then you got the Senior Resource Center and the Community Center. They just built not too long ago down here. It just seems like a, a lot of uh, really big for the size of the town. You know, I mean, they have a senior, senior center there and one over there. And I don't know that we, if people take advantage of, of the center or not it doesn't hardly seem like there's very many people that use it I mean it's a huge parking lot and I've never come here during the during the day during the middle of the day but when they got a kids bicycle rodeo going on over there next to the high school baseball field and you got the softball field and then the the uh, little league some of the girls little league play on those fields as well This is a huge community center, and I hardly, I don't never hear any events going on there. But it's like I said, it's a huge parking lot, and then you got part of the senior center there, and there's another one there, and there's building another one as well, and they didn't even finish the parking lot. I mean, and you got the Sunrise Cemetery, founded in 1870 something. This side road here, Nelson, Nelson Drive, I guess it is. It's uh, it's like one of the only <clears throat> kind of dirt road-ish in town, besides like the alleys and stuff like that, and driveways of people's houses. But I don't know why they haven't paved it. I don't know. It says it's for residents only, but uh, I don't know. I don't they don't enforce it but they just don't want a lot of traffic I guess going on it's not it's not gravel or dirt all the way but some of it is or it just goes back between dirt and dirt and asphalt or gravel and asphalt some longhorns <laughs> Horses, horsey. Oh, car coming. Oh, stirred up the goats. Stirred up the goaty goats. I think that might be the first time I met a car going the other way. Here comes the bicycles too.
kids selling something, lemonade or something. <laughs> Can't get a lot of business on this road. Wild Souls Ranch. Another car, right? Chugging, tractoring. This is another pretty nice area up here in the Redwoods. Street closed to through traffic. And this road brings you back down to Ronerville Road, which connects with Main Street. There's not a lot of vibration out of these tusks, I don't think. I mean, I mean, they're not super aggressive and they're not super soft either, so I think they're a good uh, get to your destination on the highway and then, uh, then off-road. I was watching uh, Itchy Boots and sh she was riding through some pretty gnarly mud and stuff and she has these 50 50 tires on which all she could get and struggled in the mud because i just kick up so granted the stock tires on these weren't uh weren't that 50 50 i don't think maybe 60 40 Take a little uh, stroll down Main Street here. This is South Fortuna Boulevard that goes all the way down. It's kind of like it, it's basically Main Street, but they but it turns, so they call it South Fortuna Boulevard. But this is actually Main Street right here. You got shots, of course. Square Gas Gas Station. Oh. Flags a half staff. Wonder what's for this time. And then you got Roner Roner Park. They got baseball down there, and then you got a skating rink. Used car dealer, Gary. Authentic Chinese Hunan Village. Veterans Memorial Building. And we got uh, Fortuna Theater. Still been the same for years. Redwood Cafe, Strells, Body Works, Gym, Shop Local, Eat Local, 
We've got Green's Pharmacy, L Sport, another gym, Verizon. You got El uh, Taco Loco, which is a pretty good uh, Mexican food restaurant. They were going to bring the another uh, chain franchise or whatever Humboldt Corner smoke shop uh, they were gonna bring right there they were gonna Chevron they were gonna bring uh, Little Caesars as I think that's another one of those fast food things but it's pizza of course but uh, they started remodeling that place a while back and uh, they uh, it's like they quit I don't know whether they backed out or or what I'm not sure but uh, it's just been sitting there half modified, you know, like half built or half remodeled. I don't know why. Nobody, I've been, I really, I've been trying to find out because it should have been open by now. I mean, we do have a Paul's live from New York as well. That's kind of a franchise or chain too, but. Yeah, like I said, it's pizza. Like I said, that was that road I was on was like Nelson, whatever it is, was the was like the only uh kind of a dirt road through for Fortuna my son used to live in that house there the gray and white one see the backyard there self-wash car wash it's been around a while nap up Take you around the back side of Roner Park and then also at Roner Park they have the rodeo grounds where they have the Fortuna Rodeo every year. I think they've been going for I don't know how many years, but it's a big big event for Fortuna, big moneymaker. This is the little league fields, minor league fields, coach pitch, stuff like that. There's a the rodeo grounds right there. All right, guys, I'm gonna end that video. I gave a little sneak peek uh, or a little peek of uh, the town I live in, uh, Fortuna, California. Yeah, I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching my videos. Give me thumbs up, so all the positive comments, much appreciated. Hit that like, subscribe, and that notification bell for the release of next my next video, which would be on Saturdays or Sundays, depending on what's going on, the weather, things like that. But I try to keep my content pretty regular, you know. So yeah, this is MFR Off-Road Rider. See you on the next one.
Later.